So in the last video, we have created a JSP using which you are getting this output, a welcome sign here and a text field to enter the value. And once I click on that value, it will either, if I click on add, it will add that element to a list. If I click on remove, it will remove the, that particular element in the list. If you have duplicate elements, it will, it will remove the first occurrence. Now, uh, we'll try to make it work. So what we can do is we can write some uh, a scriptlet here. To, uh, to write a scriptlet after this uh, declaration, script, declaration section of JSP, we can write a scriptlet using this tag. And in this, first we'll check uh, which button has created the event because every button will call the same form. So if your button, so we'll say request dot get parameter. So if your button is add num, so if this is your button, so how to check if this, uh, this was the button, we can simply say not null. Then we can simply uh, create an element E and we'll, we'll fetch that value of that text field. We want need to convert that into a uh, integer. So we'll say pass int. And in bracket, I can simply say it is request dot get parameter and the variable, the text field name is T1. And then we can add that value into value. So we'll say values dot add element and we can pass a value which is E. Now this element, this E will go to add elements at element which is a method of this, uh, this EJB. And this add element will add that value to this value a list here. Now, uh, so this was for addition. What about the uh, remove remove uh, button? So we'll say request. We can use the same code. So we'll say request dot get parameter. Uh, it is parameter, and in this we'll say it is R E M num. If it is not equal to null, which means this button was clicked, in that scenario also I will first take the value, we'll say int i, uh, int e, we'll say integer dot pass int, and in bracket we have to say request dot get parameter, and this time also we have to say t1. If this was the element it is it has passed, so we'll say simply say it is values dot. To in, in order to remove, we have to say remove element and we can pass e. So it will call a method of list elements, or which is remove element. It will pass this E and it will remove that element. So using this, you can add and remove the elements from the list. But how would we know that it's working? So for that, what I will do is I will print the elements here. So every time I click on a button, after the button display, it should print the elements in uh, maybe in uh, um, in vertical format or you want all the values in new line. So you can do that. So what we can do is we can write a code here. So to verify we can write a code in this way. So we can use a scriptlet inside this before from type close. So to print values we can use, use a scriptlet here. And how to check? First we need to check. Before printing we should check that if the values are empty. So if the values are not null then only we should proceed. So we'll say Check for the value is not null first. Now, if it is not null, that means there are there is there are there will be some values here. So, how to print? To print, first we create a list. So, we'll say it is integer, and the list name will be let's say nums this time. Okay, let me import the package. So, we'll say import list. Now, once the package is imported, what we can do is we can fetch the values from values. So values list, values dot get elements. So I hope you remember this method, which is get elements. So get elements is a method of list elements. Uh, so this is the uh, get elements method, which returns your values here. So we need to accept that thing into nums. So how to print? Now to print these values, we can use anything. You can either use iterator, you can use for loop, or you can use enhanced for loop. My favorite is enhanced for loop, so I will go for enhanced for loop here. So we'll say int. Uh, we'll say value colon. So this value will come from nums. So if you're not familiar with enhanced for loop, you can search for enhanced for loop video on my channel. Okay, and let's uh, print the value. We'll say out.print ln. In fact, we can also use expression here, but since we will make, we'll try to make it easy because I don't want to create a, 
a scriptlet in, inside a scriptlet. So we'll use a br tag plus I will say print also a value and we'll go semicolon because every value will print on a new line now. Okay, and just to verify, we'll also print the size of the list. So how to print the size before uh, once your for loop is over, we will also print the size of the list. So we'll say print ln and in this we'll print the size. So we'll say it is br tag plus and we'll say values or uh, not values. It will, it will be uh, nums dot. So there's a method called as size. We'll also print, we are printing a size here. So we'll say size equal to the value. Clear? So this is how we need to uh, check the values, which is, uh, this is how we have to add the values and this is how we have to remove the values. And using the inner scriptlet, you can just print all the values. Now how to run this, how to check, that we'll see in the next part.